We're up here on what's called the Oak Creek Overlook. We're at 7,000 feet looking down into Oak Creek Canyon, looking down into the main body of the slide fire. Yesterday we had very successful burnout operations all down below us where we're able to take the actual live fire and tie it down to our control lines off Highway 89A. We've got things pulled in pretty well. Last night was a really good night. We didn't have those persistent winds that we've just been driving this thing up canyon and pushing over us. Two days ago, we were actually pushed right out of this point because the fire was coming up and over it. Now we're controlling it, we're holding it well. Um, through those conditions, we ended up with what's called an inversion. All the heat from the fire lifts up, but last night was cool air and we didn't have those hard winds. So the cool air pushes down on the smoke of the heat that's coming out of that canyon. Literally makes like a lid holding down all the smoke. But what can happen is now the sun is shining. It's starting to poke in right up above us. That's warming up. We're gonna lose that cold air that we had. We're warming it, right? So we're gonna lose the lid off of all that smoke. That inversion lid, that layer breaks and it pulls all that heat, all that smoke with embers in it up out of this canyon and it can lift in a very dramatic fashion. It can lift fast. It's calm here. It's the first time we've stood here in four days where it's calm. Once that inversion breaks, we can get really dramatic, somewhat extreme fire behavior and we're prepared for that. We're doing well, right? We've been winning the battle. Good night last night but we're not having any illusions that we've got this entirely. But the good news is we have a thousand people here ready to jump on anything that happens. We currently right now have initial attack crews downwind looking out for these inversion busing type situations. So we're ready, we're prepared, we're, we're winning the battle, but as the old saying goes, the war's not over yet.